Hello everybody, thank you for joining us today. We will be practicing drawing the very popular, very entertaining Mr. Incredible. So to, uh, there, there are many versions of this uh, character and we are going to be doing one particular generic version so not necessarily something that you have seen I would recommend that we begin with some draft lines and just put in an oval there nice and big oval and then I would put in an arc like that I'm going to put in a set of circles and arc, arc, circle, arc. This one, I think we'll make the arc that way instead of going the other way. I just changed my mind. Won't make a huge difference, but it'll just make for a slightly different image. Arc, circle, circle, and then arc, little oval right there, circle, arc, and arc. So not necessarily a full a full body pose but so to carry this out we will just draw a set of lines and this is all very light strokes please make that into a triangular shape on top and make that an arc shape at the bottom there in a moment you will see why we are doing that line across, line across, another line across, so three lines pretty much close together just that much a little farther apart from that one and these two very close together. The reason for that is because he has this voluminous face that is mostly chin so everything else is concentrated up there just under the forehead. So right now, we can move this a little bit and perhaps we could Yeah. Okay. So Right. So now you're going to draw the mask first now to put in the sketch you do not need to exactly go around you could just put in like that like triangular lines just to get things going and hit an oval inside there pair of circles and then we have that superhero pointy nose not too far from the mask make sure that it is it is pointy let's give him a wide smile right there and little chin line the under lip sorry and then to best round out the face we just do a basic line right around and add a pair of ears so that is his hair on top that is his voluminous chin and then of course we know that we are going to put in we can go crazy with this some bulk I would do it this way just put in the chest first like that there are not too many details going there 
there's the logo like that an oval that is the rib cage area and just under that he has that belt and then round off this thing somewhat now here the media actually differs if you look at different sources if you google it you will find out immediately that some have him having huge forearms even the toys are very different when it comes to this guy so he has like forearms that are more that are bigger in comparison to the cartoons so we're just going with a happy medium between the two but his hands however have a realistic proportion so this is the one that I have chosen here now you could go with larger fists and it won't really hurt it will just add to the cartoonish appeal right there there's that uh, slightly arcing V shape and then he has those trunks and then the smaller set of legs and we could go all the way but uh, I don't think that I am we could actually try to accommodate the legs as well while we are at it and as you know that his legs are not that huge so I actually love it when cartoons take the liberty to draw these characters out of proportion I mean it looks it looks cool but right now we I have chosen this medium for his for his for his boots I know that his feet are even like skinnier in the cartoons but I have gone with this slightly different feel or you could also go and we'll do this for comparison first you could also give him those feet I think I've seen this done in the infinity game or something I think I actually like personally I like this better so right here we will just change the proportion as well and make it infinity size those boots just going outward like that so that is and then of course there's that all-important Mr. Incredible logo so let's take a note one arc like this inside ending about here it won't hurt to drop in the eye already drop a small oval and then round that off with this and that would be sufficient I think to get a decent Mr. Incredible sketch going oh I forgot that he has around his neck this the seam of the shirt make sure that when you color in it will be you'll be able to separate that but my recommendation would be since this is your version you could just get rid of that on the outside and you do not necessarily need to go all the way just as in other versions you could end the chin right there and just have this go under his chin and that would be sufficient as well and you could also 
again bulk up the forearms if it is the infinity version you will see that it's even bul bulkier and you could even bulk up the shoulders if you wish so you could go crazy with this guy but try to maintain a happy medium between the show and your own versions and other version and other versions so that is one quick way of uh, getting a Mr. Incredible drawing going let me put that logo back in and of course he has those nice vibrant colors which is normally uh, comprising three red blue sorry red black and yellow so please have lots of fun uh, drawing this guy in different poses and different versions he's one of my favorite uh, Disney characters I hope you have a lot of fun practicing with him thank you very much for watching please do subscribe keep in touch have yourself a wonderful day